morning students today we will be discussing the economic importance of brackets this topic is for msc sem 1 students of botany students brackets are small creatures of god playing no direct economically significant role in human life but the importance in biological system to solve evol evolution mystery of land plants that is a very significant place because we all know that bryophytes are the first land plants which occupy an intermediate position between the green thallophytes and the simpler tracheophytes we all know that bryophytes have a dominant gametophytic phase while all other land plants have the sporophytic phase and it is also believed that the sporophyte dominant group tetrophyta arose from bryophytes bryophytes nearly occupy the diverse habitats and there are about 25000 species found all over they are relatively inconspicuous but ecologically important they alter the ph of the soil they absorb carbon regulate nutrient cycling colonize barren areas create soil or they can even reduce erosion they absorb and hold moisture they are intolerant of pollution we can say they are good indicators of air and water quality interesting physiological adaptations sub can survive extend periods of desiccation so we can say that living representatives of ancient lineages of land plants goes to the group bryophyta next to lichens bryophytes are very important soil formers they can retain moisture to a great extent and they play an outstanding role in the capacity to check soil erosion on account of the extreme water retaining power now let us take some of the examples of the economically and ecologically important bryophytes sphagnum is one of the most economically as well as ecologically important bryophyte they are also used species of sphagnum they are used for packing flowers delicate seedlings etc sphagnum is also used for preparing seed beds for the germination of seeds it is believed that in world war 1 it was extensively used as an antiseptic for dressing wounds it is also used by the poultry people for making beddings for the livestock particularly sphagnum is economically important as they form the peat peat means coal which can be utilized as a fuel these mosses growing in large abundant in box and swamps accumulate there and ultimately undergoing a slow decomposition get compacted and carbonized the bryophytes act as early colonists often following algae and simple lichens so after algae and simple lichen bryophytes they colonize the area and giving place to the vascular plants later on mosses play a role we can say they are the pioneers 
they form a protective covering over the crumbling soil of cliffs and prevent the rushing rainwater from cutting deeply into the soil so they can prevent erosion trees by themselves can hold very little of water and because of the spongy moss carpet formed by the mosses like bryum neum polytrichum they have the capacity to retain moisture and they do this wonderful wonderful work species like the crania hypophylla ulerta and several other majority species of mosses they are ectohydrophytic meaning they are capable of absorbing water from almost any part of the body these mosses they grow on rotten woods on logs roots and trunks of trees and they present a lush green view with the first showers of rain the water holding capacity of some members of the ecrogynous jungle manuals is remarkable members like fulenia have a complicated water sac system for the retention and storage of water the main function is to hold water the part of the rain water which trickles down in the tree trunk of the rocks during showers which would be lost otherwise members of certain bryophytes are indicator plants which show the chemical nature of the land in which they are growing examples like polytrichum leucobran they are the perfect indicator of acidity some species of bryophytes are termed as calcicoles meaning they are growing well in the soil rich in lime or other bases example uh, nacreia tortel etc again there are species which have a circumcised circumscribed habitat example lascia polycarpa it always grows on tree trunks liable to flood water some examples of bryophytes have an element indicator capacity and they are useful in regional geochemical evolutions because of their ability to concentrate the rare earth metals which may not be detected otherwise dictodon etricus and neum they are called as classical copper mosses recently mosses have also been found as possible source of a wonder drugs the antibiotics studies have revealed that extracts of sphagnum neum and polytrichum on nine infective organisms like streptococcus salmonella have found some positive results antibiotic activity has also been found in mosses like atrium and dicranium graphites are also known to have the allergenic significance fulenia has found to be allergic to certain contact dermatitis when tested five patients were found showing positive patches this research has been done by mitchell in 1970 so to sum up we can say bryophytes are the living representatives of the ancient lineages of land plants and considering their economic significance and the silent role in nature bryophytes offer numerous opportunities to the geneticists ecologist physiologist and taxonomist watson says quoting watson 
unpretentious little plants have a tale of their own to tell which may well claim a hearing from all plant lovers so this is the economically and ecologically importance of graphites and this is all for now thank you